All right, here we are. This is the 2014 Thor Hurricane Class A 34E. Uh, this is the continuation of removing the chimney. All right, yes, I had a wood stove in this thing. If you do it right, you don't have to worry about it. This is the cap that stays on her. It's all stainless steel, good quality stuff. I'm getting ready to pull this up and replace it with this which was original so I'm getting ready to rent this out this is my other baby right there a 40 foot diesel pusher um, but anyway let's get back to this right here so if you notice what I did with the extension cord I wrapped it around on the air duct so it don't drop down off the ground I got my generator running for my 120 volt AC power it's a little bit of idea because I've had them fall off before so you learn by your mistakes okay but on rvs when you make mistakes uh, they get very very costly because okay, so basically this is just putting in a skylight all right well i just want to show you my wood stove thing so i got a heat gun here to help accelerate the drying i got since it's a tpo roof this rubber i have I know there's other manufacturers, but I love Dicor. Guess who makes a roof? Dicor. Uh, this is 501 self-leveling. That means you put it down and it levels itself. Self-explanatory. What I do for the first line of defense, defense is non-leveling. I put that right here on this. That's your first line of defense, this seal. Then you seal it from the top. All right. But this is more like a silicone, but it's not silicone. Silicone will eat rubber. All right, so here we go. We put the first line of defense right here. The second line of defense, once I get it on, I use 501 L self-leveling. Leveling self, self-leveling, there you go. And that is this stuff right here. All right. All right, thank you very much. It's Jeff from RV Donosics. I'm gonna continue this video here for you.